Hey kids, it's uh, Pastor Darren here, and uh, we're here today to do another craft together. So I hope you are excited about doing that. Uh, today's craft involves sheep, and it starts with, in, it's in John chapter 21, and we're going to be looking at John chapter 21 this Sunday when we get together in our Zoom meeting with the children's ministry. And in John 21, what happens is Jesus has been raised from the dead and uh, his disciples have seen Jesus a couple of times now and but they're kind of waiting around and Peter decides to go fishing and so his friends go with him and they get out there and they don't catch any fish at all all night and then there's a while they're still out there they see someone up on the shore and he says, hey, throw your nets on the other side and you'll have a catch. And so they try it and all the fish come into the net. It's crazy. And Peter realizes that it's Jesus who's on the shore that's told them to put the nets on the other side. So he comes swimming in as fast as he can. And they have breakfast together with some fish. And, uh, and then Jesus has a conversation with Peter and talks to him about feeding his sheep. And so this Sunday, we're going to um, kind of explain what that means and talk a little bit about um, following Jesus and feeding his sheep and, and all about that. So I hope you get to join us. Um, if you didn't get to join us last time, make sure that your parents have signed up on the Connect form on our website or our church app. So you can be invited to the meeting. You have to have the special link with the password. Um, so have them do that. And you can join us this Sunday at 1030. Okay, so that's coming up. But today we are going to do a cool craft. And uh, let me show you what it looks like at the end. Look at that. That is a cute little sheep. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you're going to need for this craft today, all right? So you're gonna need um, a pen, a black marker is gonna be what you're gonna need, and then maybe a pencil or a white crayon would be helpful, but a pencil would work too. Uh, some glue, right? And you need two kinds of paper. Uh, we have a white piece of copy paper like you would have in your printer at home and a black piece of construction paper. Now, if you don't have a black piece of construction paper, you could use some white paper and just color it with your black marker, okay? So just in case you don't have that black construction paper, not everybody has that. So that's how you could get, get, to, um, get that done. And then you also need a small, um, like a paper plate. And this one is, oh, it's about six or seven inches right in there. And uh, so something like that. Now, if you don't have a paper plate, you could also just take some cardboard and cut it out. And it'd have to be about that same size, six or seven inches. Maybe what you could do is take a cereal bowl and put it on top of a piece of cardboard, trace around the cereal bowl, and then cut it out. Okay, so something kind of that shape that's kind of stiff and solid. Okay, so one of those. So that's kind of the supplies that you'll need. Let's look at some of the tools that you're going to need to do this craft. Um, I'm going to put them in our little display here. Uh, of course, a pair of scissors, uh, a hole punch, a spoon. It doesn't have to be a plastic spoon, but a spoon. And also a ruler might be helpful to measure some of the shapes that we need to cut. Now, let me show you some optional things. Some optional supplies would be some tape. Sometimes that makes things go a little bit faster than gluing stuff down. And then if you have a pipe cleaner, that would be another option, but you don't have to have one, that's just optional. And then if you have, we call them googly eyes. Have you seen these before? 
Yeah, they're little plastic pieces that have like eyeball or the pupils that move around inside. So if you have those, you need one pair of those. If not, that's okay. We have another way to do it. All right, so that's all of our supplies. So you might also want to have a bowl. And I'll show you what that will be for in a little bit, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our first step, which is going to be cutting everything. All right, so we'll take our piece of white paper and let's just go ahead. We're going to fold it several times. There's one. There is two. And there is three. Oh, and you know what? I just thought of something as we're making this. You know what we should probably do? we should probably ask Jesus to help us because this craft has a lot of steps, okay? So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your love and we thank you that you give us fun times to have together. And I pray, Lord, that you will help us on this craft. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, so we folded our paper several times and look at what it does. It comes out like this. And do you see all the lines here? That basically has divided our paper up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little uh, um, sections. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut all of these sections out, all right? Now, I don't wanna take the time to show you how to cut because you guys know how to cut. Now, I do have something, maybe you have one of these at home. Do your parents have something like that? This is a cool cutter. So you could also put your paper in and where it's folded, you just you could just slice it just like that. And so what we want to do is get several of these. Eight will come from one piece of paper. And so you can cut those out. And once they're all cut out, what I want you to do is I want you to stack them up. And it'll look something like this. You'll have a whole stack of them, okay? So you see that? They'll be all stacked together. So kind of have them be where they're all evenly stacked together. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to cut them into little narrow strips. Okay, let's try it. See that? And they kind of jump. Do you see them jump? It's pretty cool. So we're gonna just cut, cut. Now this might be hard because you have to hold it like this and you have to cut it and it takes a little bit of strength. So it may be something where your parents will do for you or help you. Maybe they'll hold it and you'll cut. I'm not sure how strong your little hands are. Um, I'm sure the older kids could probably do it, but the younger kids, they might need a little bit of help, okay? So you see how that's working, and you'll just keep cutting like that until you're all done, okay? So then when you're all done with that, look at all these little cool scraps of, and what you're gonna do is I like to have, I made some a little bit earlier, okay? So you kind of see the scraps here. I'm gonna just put them in like a little container just so they're kind of easy to move around. Or what you could do, is remember that bowl I talked about? Put them in the big bowl like that, okay? So that would be one way that you could do it also. So let's put all those in the bowl. Now, there's another cool way to do this that's super fast. And do you see this machine back here? Some of you guys have, might have a machine like this at, at your house. It's called a paper shredder. And so how it works is you take a piece of paper and you stick it in and it makes some noise and it... What? It like eats the paper. Let's try another one. Eating the paper. All right, and so what happens is it makes... Look at that, you guys. Do you see all that? Oh my goodness. And so that's what we're, we need to make. 
So you could use a paper shredder if you have one, but not everybody does. Um, or you could make it by cutting it like we did, okay? So one piece of paper, maybe two if you really want a lot of this paper kind of shredded confetti, confetti kind of paper, okay? So once we have that, we're gonna set that to the side. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to take our black construction paper and we're also gonna need your spoon. Now again, yours doesn't have to be a plastic spoon. I would just use one of your metal spoons at home. And we're gonna use this spoon to basically trace the shape of the sheep's head. All right, so I'm gonna put the spoon and I'm gonna use, you could either use a pencil or I'm using a white crayon to mark on this black paper and just trace around it like that. So that's gonna be like the face. And then you could take your finger and you kind of want a big finger. So you might want your dad's chubby finger and put it down and trace around it. Or maybe, maybe your thumb would be big enough. I'm not sure. But we're gonna draw two of these with our finger. And what this is gonna be, this is gonna be the face, and these are gonna be the two ears, okay? So let me go back to the example that I made earlier. So you'll have the face and the two ears, okay? In fact, do you see the little guy over here that's on the wall? It kinda of looks close, doesn't it? The face and the two ears, okay. So that's what these are gonna be. So let's cut these out together. All right. And what I like to do, it's a little bit faster. I'm gonna just cut this whole section out like this, and it'll make it a little bit easier for us to um, cut out these smaller shapes. Just a little uh, pro tip there, a little, little trick for you guys. So I'm gonna just cut around like this, around the corner, and like that. And then the other ear. Other ear, all right. Now, do you think sheep have um, good hearing? Can they hear really good, do you think? I bet you they probably can. They, they, don't, um, they don't really have any other defenses. They have to have good ears. And Jesus even said, you know, my sheep hear my voice and uh, they follow me. And uh, so maybe we do have, maybe sheep do have good ears. I'm not sure. Maybe you could look it up sometime and see what kind of hearing the sheep have, if they have really good hearing. All right, now on the top of this shape, this is gonna be the bottom of their like uh, face, but this is gonna be the top. So you might wanna make the top a little bit um, flatter, like for the top of his head. So you might wanna adjust that a little bit to the shape that you like. So maybe something like that. So what's gonna happen is we are going to glue or tape these ears and it's gonna look like that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take tape. You could use the glue that we talked about earlier, but I'm gonna use tape because it's gonna just make it stick a lot faster, okay? Um, so let's put our shapes all together in the right spot. Have the ears come down kind of like that, however you want. You can make the ears kind of stick out straight or a lot of times their ears go down. So however you like to do it, I'm gonna take just a very small piece of tape, not too, too big. It needs to be able to fit. And I'm gonna stick it right on the back like that. Okay, do you see that? And then if I flip it over, there's the face and there's the ears coming off the side. All right, now let's move some of this little debris that we have left over. Oh, we've got a little bit over here and here. Here's the face. Now, there was an option to do the googly eyes, but like I said, not everybody has the googly eyes, but it sure is fun if you do. But if you don't, what we can do is, here is a little hole punch. You guys have a hole punch, I hope? 
and um, it, it'll make a little, um, just a little circle. So if you take a piece of your white paper, I'm gonna take this little scrap piece that I have, and you just punch, punch a couple of holes, and then these will be the eyes, okay? So do you see that? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take our glue, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on their eye, and it's kind of small, it might be hard to put it in the right spot. So do the best that you can to put some glue on there. It's just a little bit of glue. Uh-oh, my eyeball fell. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. So you could do it like that, and then you could take your marker and put their eyes in like that. Does that make sense? Now those are very small. If you want, I just thought it might be simple to use the hole punch, um, but you could cut a circle maybe if you want the eyes to be bigger, but I thought this would be a fast way to do it. Now, um, also if you have the googly eyes, you could go ahead and glue those on. Now, some of your, your mom might have what's called a hot glue gun, and that works really great. But this kind of gets very hot, so you wouldn't want to do it by yourself. You'd want your parents to help you to make sure you don't burn yourself. But what it does is it has a special uh, piece of like rubbery plastic that it goes in this little gun, and the gun heats it up till it melts. And then you pull this trigger right here, and when you pull the trigger, the hot glue comes out and um, you can glue your things down and it dries very quickly and so it sticks and then you're done. So that can be a helpful option if you guys want to use that. Okay, so we have his face and we have the shredded pieces. So that is almost all of our cutting, but we have one more. And that is, I'm gonna set his face to the side that is, we need to make his legs. So do you remember his legs or her legs? See that? These are about four inches long, um, I think. Let me measure them. Yeah, about four inches long, and they're, they're probably just a little bit less than half an inch wide, depending on how thick you want them to be. So I would just, I would, you could take your ruler like this and you can measure how wide you want it to be. You could use your pencil or I'm using a, um, a white crayon and just measure how wide. We need, we need a few of these. We need four legs, okay? So you would go ahead and cut this. This one's a little bit skinny. I think I made this one too skinny, but that's okay. You could have skinny legs on a sheep, and we're gonna just cut that all the way. Again, you could use your uh, uh, your other cutter, your uh, paper cutter that just you slide it. That's a little bit faster, okay? So you would just cut these out like that, all right? Cool, and then they need to be four inches wide, so there's something a little bit like that. So you'd have four legs, so you have the face, you have the four legs, and you have your shredded uh, paper, okay? So that's all the cutting that we need to do. Now, the next step is the glue and the assembling together, all right? So we're gonna take our plate, or maybe you made a um, cardboard one because you didn't have a small paper plate, and that's okay. They both work great. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move his face just to the side a little bit. And we're gonna take our glue, and this is gonna be super fun because we're gonna just put glue, a lot of glue, okay? Now, this might get a little bit messy, parents, so you might wanna maybe have some wipes or something available for the kids, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put glue all over, all over, 
think you can see it going down and even on the sides even on the sides see as it's going down okay that's a lot of glue now if you want you could spread the glue out maybe with your fingers but that gets a little bit messy I'm going to just leave it like that and what we're going to do is we're going to put I'm going to move his face and the legs out of the way I am going to put can you see me putting it on there I'm I'm putting it on but don't put all of it what I want you to do is just put like la a first layer we're going to do a second layer so we're going to put that on and just kind of dab it dab it on and some of it might stick to your fingers do you see that isn't that cool Maybe some of you guys don't like that feeling on your fingers, but it is kind of fun because it gets it gets everywhere. Okay, then what you can do is, you know, I've got some on my fingers. Mm -hmm. What you can do is kind of shake it, and it'll um, any that's kind of not stuck on yet will come off in your bowl. I'm gonna move some to the side. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a second layer of it, a second layer. So we're gonna put glue on again, another layer of glue. This is kind of crazy, but super fun. All right, and then we're gonna put more of our paper confetti on there. We're gonna just put all kinds of it and just mash it on there, okay? And the ones that stick, it's good, and the ones that don't, they'll just come off, okay? So it's gonna look something like that, all right? Something like that. Okay, now we're gonna set that to the side and I need to clean my fingers a little bit and move some of our confetti out of the way, okay? So that's, maybe you might need to pause the video and clean up a little bit. I'm gonna just do it kind of quickly here and just move some of that confetti out of the way if some's gotten on the floor, of course, you're going to need to pick that up. We'll clean up our area here. We'll get our fingers cleaned up. I'm getting my fingers cleaned up. My goodness. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> they are, they are sticky. Okay. All right, not too bad. All right, great. And again, if you need to wash them off, that's fine. You can take a break and wash them if you don't like the way that it feels like that. All right, well, I'm gonna use one that I made a little bit earlier, and it's a little bit more dry than the one that we just made. And you might wanna let that one dry before you do the next step. So we remember we have our face still, and uh, I think we put our eyes on already, so we're good with that. And so now what we need to do is we need to glue on the face to this little sheep shape that we made, sheep shape. <laughs> that sounds, sounds kind of fun, sheep shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some glue right on the back. So here's, here's the front that has the eyes. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the back like that. Uh, maybe on the ear too. We want it to stick really nicely, okay? And we're gonna just put this Kind of in the middle, but a little bit above the center. So here's the center, but up just a little bit, okay? So that's where I want to put it, just like that. Okay? Now, we're going to take those black legs that we made. Now, if you didn't have black construction paper, um, you could have done it on white paper, and then just use your ink marker your black marker to go ahead and just color it black so you have these nice little legs, okay? So I'm gonna flip him over, put him face down. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> and we'll put some glue on this side, put it in a couple of spots. All right, and then we're gonna just stick it on like that. Now, this might be one of those times where an option of using tape might be better because can you see, it's gonna take a little while for those legs to dry. And so if you wanna tape that on at this step, 
That is fine if you want to tape it just right there. And what you'll come out with, I'm going to just set this to the side and let it dry. But again, you could tape it if you want to do that. Or, of course, your hot glue gun, that would be super fast. And you're going to come out with a sheep that looks like this. Isn't that cool? All right. Well, you guys, I hope you had fun today and uh, have a great time with that craft. I hope we get to see you on Sunday. I'm going to be there. Uh, we're going to have a neat time. Mr. Mike is going to share with us the story from John 21, where Jesus tells Peter to feed my sheep. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you soon.